My whole life, I didn't know what was right for me until I fell in love with you. <laughs> no matter what hardships were thrown our way, I knew that we would get through them and get to today because that's how much I love you and that's how much I want to spend the rest of my life with you. I know this isn't the wedding that we envisioned, but I will still be in a wedding dress walking down the aisle to you and you will still be at the altar waiting for me. Though not at all the way I had envisioned this day, it's still exactly what it needs to be. I'm so anxious for the exhausted emotional release of all of this built up tension so I can just stand with you and pledge my love and my life to you. You who I've learned so much from in a few short years. You challenge my thinking with an alternative perspective and though I rarely admit it out loud, often have better ideas or solutions than me. Somehow you manage to be so dang smart, but so dang pretty but oh so weird and utterly yourself. It's inspiring and annoying, hilarious and embarrassing, and exactly what I need in the mother of my children and for my partner in life. Growing up, Deanna and I were two peas in a pod. Even though we were three years apart, we did absolutely everything together. <laughs> we were never bored. We always had something to do because we always had each other. Even though you moved a million miles away, you always make time for us little people and you always show up when it counts. Now that I have a daughter, not having you physically by my side, for every bad day or every shred of good or bad news in my life has been extremely hard. It does give me a lot of comfort to know that even though you're far away, you're with the most perfect person you could possibly be with. I have witnessed my son show compassion from when he was just a little boy through to becoming the amazing man he is today. From not wanting to step on insects as small as ants to expressing his thoughts, he showed his thoughtfulness to those around him all the time. Diana. I'm pretty sure you're an alien. Here's why. I don't remember meeting you, but let me clarify. When I search my memory, I can't recall so easily a time behind when you were not standing by his side. So, you are either in disguise, and you've infiltrated all our minds to organize a slew of lies comprised of happy times synthesized by your allies in disguise, all to hypnotize us into believing in this memory, or it could just rightly be that there is no grand conspiracy, and the reason you are dear to me is that you've always been my family. Why do I like you? Where to start? Well, you're smart. You know martial arts. You laugh at farts. You have a competitive and determined soul, and the self-control to carry life's heavy toll. That no matter how deep the hole, or scary the troll, or what might be stolen from you, you have the will to claw your way back to the rim. I see this in you because I've watched it in him. So the chances are slim that two people so strong could ever not belong with each other. With that in mind, maybe you're not an alien. Maybe you're just cool. Maybe you don't have psychic powers that make humans drool, so I've been a fool. I guess it doesn't matter, does it? You're here now, why resist? Because I now have the honor of calling you sister. So to Diana and Sean, let's toast. Two worlds, now one, the best of both. I was always proud of my daughter, since you made the first step till you finished school to this night. Every step you did right, and I'm very proud of you. When I look at you two together, I see only love in your eyes. When you touch each other, when you look at each other, I'm glad that you guys are a couple and that you found each other. Dear Deanna, in you I have found my one true love, my loudest supporter and my philosophizing partner, my most valued and trusted interrupter and critic, <laughs> my closest confidant and my best friend. I promise to remind you that we are a team in this together. 
I promise to encourage and challenge you to learn from your ability to stay calm and optimistic in challenging situations. You are the perfect man for me, Sean, and I feel blessed to be marrying my best friend. Diana and Sean, it gives me great pleasure to declare you legally married and to present you as husband and wife. Sean, you may now kiss your beautiful bride. All the awful wedding cliches are now encompassed in these rings forever, and so I don't even have to say them. I've definitely hit the cosmic jackpot with you. You are the love of my life, perfectly matched to me in every way. I love your crazy intelligence and being able to have amazing conversation about the silliest things in the most abstract way with you. This ride is just beginning because I'm completely and utterly in love with you and that love only grows and gets stronger with every passing day. You are my honey. I love you until the day I die. You have my whole heart, and I know I have yours. And I look forward to every new step in our adventure together. Love, your husband. Mm -hmm.